Good evening, Deacon Ware. How are you today? Oh, fine. That's good. I'd like to talk to you a little bit about the pastor's anniversary. Mm -hmm. I'd like to ask you a couple questions. Is that all right with you at this time? All right. That's good. First of all, question I'd like to ask is, what was first? Why was First Baptist in need of a pastor at the time? We it was well. We had a our pastor retired, retired. He stepped down. He was ninety something years old, and he retired. And we. Uh, we're looking for a pastor, and we had uh, quite a few ministers give resumes and been through and uh, approached me about uh, pastoring the church. But uh, uh, we was I was waiting on the spirit to move us in in the right direction there. So, but we did make the call the pastor in between time because we was all without a pastor almost two years, and. Uh, well, we had a pass in between Reverend Wilson, but uh, uh, it didn't work out. So uh, that's when we look, started looking, and we called, and I heard about him, and we called him. He made a great impression on the church at that time, and uh, couldn't find out later on that he did send us a resume, but he had sent it to his cousin, and uh, she never gave it to me. Okay, what led First Baptist to select Bishop Wilson as a candidate for a pastor? Uh, he made a great impression on his uh, when the, the time that I had him out uh, to uh, bring a message and uh, so forth to conduct a service for us on a Sunday morning. He made a great impression and uh, looked like the Spirit just moved us in that direction. How has First Baptist Cornerstone changed under his leadership? Uh, oh, quite marvelous. When we called him, we only had about we had about four people, four choir members. Uh, our membership had grown down uh, tremendously, and uh, but uh, and he, we called him. He looked, he kind of looked like the membership uh, taking on a new hope, and uh, the church just taking on a new life. And that's why uh, later on, now we start pushing the walls out in the church. We had to look for a new church home. How has he changed over the years? Oh, uh, he's improved a really. Spiritually, he has uh, improved tremendously. Uh, he's just like anything else. We all got, uh, we have our faults and so forth. But he has, uh, he has uh, made a great impression. He's been, been really, uh, been actually let the Lord use him in a mighty way at the work of the church. Hmm. What words would you like to offer Bishop and the First Lady at this time? Oh, I would just keep on letting God use them and uh, keep on keeping their hands in God's hand and uh, spiritually wise uh, and, uh, and moving us on up to King's Highway. How long have you been a member of First Baptist or Cornerstone? I've been a member, I came to First Baptist in November, the fourth Sunday in November 1949. and been a member ever since. And how has it been serving under Bishop Wilson? It's been a pleasure. It, uh, we had some ups and downs, but it's been a pleasure. I mean, I have no uh, idea. I've taken on the uh, attitude, for one thing, that uh, God only called one leader at a time, and uh, he's been terrific, ter terrific in that way, and I can see a lot of improvements on just following his leadership and letting God use him that uh, the church is moving on in a mighty way and forward. Is there anything else you'd like to add at this time? No, I'd just like to wish him Godspeed there and he will uh, keep on and wish him many more and uh, let God use him and his family and uh, as long as uh, God let me live to see it, I'll be right there to help support his program. Thanks a lot, Deacon Ware. We appreciate you for your time. All right.